Hi, I'm Melissa. And I'm Michael. And we've lived in our house here in the Shaw neighborhood of Washington, D.C. for 11 years and have owned the house since... Since for eight years. Eight years. Uh, this kitchen uh, we use a lot, uh, but the previous kitchen had a glass tile countertop. Uh, which meant a lot of grout, which was disgusting, and also meant that things, it was hard to have a level surface for cutting and putting things on it. Um, and so we've been planning this kitchen for eight years, if not longer. Um, and this one kept saying, well, let's just wait, let's just wait, let's really make the kitchen we want, let's save, let's save, so we can have the kitchen that we want. Uh, so we've done a lot of planning so that we really truly have the kitchen that we want. And our architect uh, is the one that introduced us to Fine Craft. And uh, we picked them because they were um, most willing to work with us and be flexible with us because we had some very you know, strong opinions about how we wanted things done. Uh, so that's one of the main reasons we picked them. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you saw them on House or something? Yeah, oh yeah, I also saw them on House. They have a lot of really great reviews on House, and um, I really know that, you know, judging your future happiness uh, can be gauged by other people's happiness. And so uh, they have a lot, lot of really great feedback about how they were to work with and just the craftsmanship. And so um, Chris was the uh, main person who came and, and gave us uh, the initial bid and, and walkthrough uh, and then was the foreman, project lead, project manager, project manager yeah. Uh, and then Dasha was the coordinator who helped us as well in the office. And we signed the contract, what, two weeks? Two weeks before COVID. So two weeks before everything shut down, we had signed the contract, uh, which was a little bit stressful. Mm -hmm. um, so we just had a little bit of delays. Uh, they, of course, had introduced us to the cabinet maker, um, supplier, uh, our appliance uh, and the floor. Uh, had introduced us to all of those vendors and uh, so we had picked and, and ordered everything before everything got shut down. So there was only a minor delay uh, before we got started. Uh, but we, you know, we got started in the end of May, uh, which, you know, when COVID really shut down in March. Um, and the team was so clear about the precautions they were going to take to ensure the team was safe, and sure we were safe, that everything was clean. Mm -hmm. um, so it felt really good about that. Um, what else to add? So this is an 1880 row house. So one of the big exciting things uh, was bringing an 1880 row house up to 2020 electrical code, because <laughs> this has a, a heated floor as well. Uh, and so that presented a lot of challenges and uh, Finecraft was, you know, great to work with. We worked with our architect to try to figure out a solution so that we could preserve some of the really unique architectural features of the rest of the house because the, the control panel is in the front. Um, and so, you know, the thing that I, I loved about Chris and I loved about Moesis, um, who is like the main uh, contact here in the kitchen, was that their mantra was always, no problem. So anything that, that we wanted, um, anything that wasn't quite right that we wanted uh, to talk about, it was always Melissa, no problem. Michael, no problem. So always really flexible and, and not argumentative with us about um, tweaking things and adjusting things. So really, really appreciated that. And then just the, the craftsmanship. Um, Moesis and the team, um, like this floor in this herringbone pattern took a very long time for the three of them to do this floor, but they were, they worked so hard and it's absolutely stunning. When people come into our kitchen, the first thing they say is that floor. Um, and that just really speaks to the craftsmanship of the team. So 
Um, yeah, so we're super happy with it. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.